Right guys, my name is Craig, I'm from Healthy Core. We're gonna talk through a very brief warm up to mobilize the joints and get our heart rate up slowly. So we're safely ready to exercise. So you wanna just take your feet, shoulder slash hip width apart and stand with your hands on your side for me. So mobilize the spine, so we're just gonna roll up and down, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Try and make it a nice smooth motion, we're just getting the spine nice and warm, abs slightly braced. Looking forwards for me. So you're pulling from the tummy rather than sending the hips out sideways. From there, if you want to just start to pick up your heels behind, warming up the hamstrings. So again, we're keeping our chest up, shoulders back. Core slightly braced. We're slowly raising our heart rate throughout the warm up. So if you're looking at a score out of 10, you should be aiming for about three and four out of 10, just slowly building it up. Nice slow control all the way through. We start to think about our quads and our hip flexors as we move up. Start to bring the knees up straight in front there. Just bring them to your hands, nice and straight, as high as you feel comfortable. It doesn't have to be all the way up to the top. If it's just to here, it's your level, wherever you feel comfortable. And again, keep the chest and shoulders up and abs slightly braced. There, so again, you can see I'm not going too fast. I'm gradually building into it. And then we can start to add a little bit more pace. So back to our hamstrings, we we'll slightly step to the side, bring our heel up towards kicking our bottoms or our hands. And again, my shoulders are back, chest is up, core engaged. So I'm just adding a bit more speed as I feel comfy. If you feel it's too fast, you just bring it down nice and slow or go back to where you were just here in the middle and then the same we bring our knees up and across to our hands and work across the body if you feel that's too awkward or any impingements again just go back up to here just adding in a bit more range of motion than before as you build in so ideally now you should be starting to work across at a bit more speed We go back to our hamstrings again. This time we're adding the bicep curls to bring our heart rate up a little bit higher. So again, we're aiming to that three to four out of 10. So there, there, this time, bicep curls, we do so. Chest and shoulders up again. Core slightly engaged. Nice and steady on the pace. So now you should feel your heart rate is rising. And then we're gonna go into some jabs. So keep your feet moving all the time. So now working our way up the body and just jab in front. So we're getting the chest warm, extending the arms. Keep the feet moving, just keep the blood circulation going. And again, you can pick up the speed of your feel, but try and aim in that three to four out of 10 range. And from there, let's start to mobilize as you just keep walking and marching, just roll your shoulders back. Feel your chest with a deep breath as you do so. Breathing out, keep your feet moving the whole time. You feel comfy now, just start to do some front digs here, here, adding a bit of speed there. 
Concentrate on sitting the weight back slightly, not forwards. So it's your bottom, your glutes that are holding you. Hands. Again, you want to add in a bicep curl. Do so. There. Okay, and keep doing that three and four. From there. Just come up and stand. Walking for me, marching on the spot. And a bit of pace into there. And from there, want to bring your hands up for me. Here, just open the chest and squeeze in. So we're really opening up here. Keep that marching going. Keep the blood flow going. Keep the heart rate rising. From there, we're going to take it slightly further. What we're going to do is go into as if you're breaststroke swimming. So you can push the hands out in front, round and down, out in front, round and down. Really opening up the chest, opening up the back and the shoulders. Keep my feet moving the whole time. Keep my heart rate up. There. I'm just going to take a step forward or two. This time we're going to a rear tap here. So get my quads working. Large muscles of the front of your thighs. And again, you want to just add in to keep your heart rate a little higher. If you feel it's dropping slightly, just a bicep curl as you do so. There. Let's just get a little bit of lateral motion before we finish. So just tap to the side. There. Activating the glutes, chest and shoulders staying up still. Of course, like the brace again, we're staying at three to four out of ten. Right in the arms here, there, a little bit of dancing, one to the side, back in. And we should be ready to go.